Here's a Friday morning update on the tropics. As of 11 a.m., Tropical Storm Hannah looking healthier. Winds have been bumped up from 40 miles per hour to 45 at this 11 a.m. advisory, and that's been confirmed by the hurricane hunters who flew into the storm this morning. They found that center of circulation a little bit farther to the north, and look at all of the thunderstorms on the south side of this. So you know it's going to be a rainmaker. The system is expected to gradually strengthen and then make landfall in southern Texas on Saturday late in the night early Sunday morning. So it's going to be an overnight landfall, but bringing rain pretty much all weekend to southern Texas. It's going to be a real soaker there and flooding is a concern. Meanwhile, tropical storm Gonzalo in the central Atlantic is looking weaker. Its winds have been bumped down from 60 miles per hour to 50 as of this latest advisory. It's also moving faster now at 18 miles per hour. It approaches the southern windward islands Saturday morning into Saturday evening. No longer expected to reach hurricane status, but the thing about these tiny storms is that it's still possible that fluctuation in intensity can happen very quickly, either down or up, but there's a lot of dry air, which is why currently the guidance is that this storm weakens in the Caribbean and eventually likely dissipates, but we'll be watching another tropical wave right behind Gonzalo. It's only July, but it definitely feels more like August in the tropics. This next wave has a 30% chance of development within the next five days. And if you look at the European model, this wave is basically in the same spot as Gonzalo right now by Tuesday. So a few days away, we could be tracking potentially Isaias. Isaias is the next name on the list. Keep in mind, we had our earliest G and H name storms on record. So we are way ahead of schedule and already a third of the way plus done with the Atlantic hurricane names for the season. Not even close to the peak of hurricane season yet. I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.